In school buildings, getting dry debris off the floor is critical to any floor care program. After the first line of defense, the entrance matting, an effective entrance matting program, the right choice and the right dust popping procedures need to be in place. What you see here is a very common cotton blended dust mop found frequently throughout school buildings across the United States. This one happens to be rented, but you can also own these particular dust mops. They're fairly effective at picking up dust. They'll do a decent job. And they're used both in the hallways and in smaller classroom buildings or any hard floor surface found in a school. There are some pitfalls to this style of dust mop. First of all, the design is most often strands of cotton or cotton blended material that are at least three inches long. And what commonly happens is, as this dust mop begins to fill up, a lot of the dust, dust settles at the base of this particular mop. The problem is that when trying to dry groom this, if you are maintaining these mops in between wet cleanings, is nearly impossible because the dust settles at the base of this mop and it is difficult to dry groom out. The other problem with a cotton blended dust mop is, oftentimes in school buildings, when they fill up and when they're less than effective, they're tempted or the school custodian is tempted to use dust mop treatment. Dust mop treatment, if properly used, is not a bad thing, but unfortunately, more often than not, it is overused. If you overspray your dust mop because you feel compelled to make your cotton blended dust mop more effective, then you run the risk of leaving a residue behind on the floor that now is a slip fall potential hazard. But more importantly as well, you're going to leave a film behind that's going to attract more dirt and dust and debris. So it's counterproductive. Again, this is old school. And with microfiber technology, we can improve this process as well. We have new fiber dust mops that will fit all existing traditional hardware, the wire frames I'm referring to. So they're pocket mops that slip over the current frames that your school probably owns and can accommodate anything from 24 inch up to 72 inch and all the sizes in between that are traditional or universal. Our design is a simple one. We have a little bit shorter fiber, length of fibers, for a purpose. This way, whatever dust is picked up, what you can see, you can get and you can clean in a dry method. So there is not a long strand where dust can settle at the base. Everything is going to be on top here where you can easily either shake it out over a receptacle or vacuum it out with your wet and dry vacuum hose or the hose from your upright vacuum and your tool attachments. So much easier to dry, groom, and maintain. The other good aspect of microfiber is you're going to pick up more dirt, dust, and debris than a traditional cotton mop. And not only do you not require dust mop treatment, that is a definite no-no. You don't want to coat the fibers of uh, the microfiber dust mop because you actually make them less effective. So forget the budgeting of any dust mop treatment. That goes away with a microfiber dust mop from New Fiber. So again, there's no capital investment here of having to buy new handles or buy new frames. You can keep your existing hardware, but again, update yourself with new technology, microfiber technology, and try the New Fiber line of dust mops. I think you'll like them, and we have them in all the sizes that any one of your frames are found in your school. Give it a shot.